So the second one minute drill is grab and peek. So if you guys will clear the center again. And give me, um, how about Brittany McSparron? Come on out here. You've done this before. And um, how about uh, Allie Weaver? You've done this before. Come on out here. Remember in the grab and peek drill, the two habits that we're working on are, one, you never want to dribble a loose ball. You want to always grab loose balls. And two, we're going to work on that habit of peeking immediately, even when it's inconvenient, every time your fingertips touch leather. So you're going to have to do an inconvenient peek in this. So the first thing you're, you and your partner are going to do is you're going to choose a rim. You, you can go either way you want, which, which way you want to go. Why don't you just go this way? <clears throat> so they're going to choose a rim. And I want you to choose, you can choose any of these eight rims, but I want you to choose the rim that's going to be the most inconvenient for you to peek at. The one that you're really going to have to turn your head and really try to find that rim. So since Allie's loose ball is going to be rolling this way, she probably wants to pick that rim as her rim. That's about the most inconvenient one you can peek at. And then Brittany, you probably want to pick that rim as your rim because your loose ball is going to be rolling this way. When you start on this, I want you to get even a half a step closer. The reason I want you to start this close is because in just a few minutes, everybody's going to be doing this. And if you're a long way away from your partner and you're throwing off loose balls from far away, we're going to have balls going all over the place. It'll be a lot cleaner if you guys will just get close together. Right where these girls are right now is perfect. So Brittany's going to simulate a loose ball that's going to be rolling away from Allie's basket. Allie's going to have to turn, hustle after it, and she's going to dribble it or grab it. She's going to grab it. She's going to peek immediately, not half a second later, not a second later, but immediately. The moment your fingertips touch that thing, try to find that rim. And what else does she need to do immediately? You better chin it and get tough. As soon as you get to this position right here, it's over, Allie, and then you're going to walk up and do the same thing for Brittany. So I want you guys to be real precise on this. So show us what this looks like. Peek. Good. Good example. And then she's going to walk up and give Brittany one. Grab. Ah, what'd she do just now? She dribbled it. You got to grab it. Give her another one, Allie. Good. And give her a bunch of different kinds. Let me be you for just a second. Sometimes if I'm Allie's partner, let's move this way a little bit. Sometimes I'm going to give her something that look like that. Good. And sometimes I'll give her one of these because these are real tempting to dribble. Good. So go together again. Be precise. Grab. Peek immediately. Peek at a rim. And look. Don't just sort of look up in the general vicinity of the sky. Pick one of these orange rims and literally take your eyes to that rim. Train yourself to literally peek at the rim. There's a couple more. Peek. Good. Peek. Give her a couple that she really has to hustle after. There you go. Good. And get, put that ball in a vise. Good. Good. Peek at the rim, Brittany. I think you're just kind of looking in the general vicinity. Peek. Good. Peek. Good. Now, if Allie wanted to be absolutely positively sure that Brittany remembered to peek immediately every single time, what do you think Allie could do to make that happen? Give reminders. And reminders are only useful when? Before they're needed. So there's a couple of times there where I thought Brittany just kind of looked in that direction. So that was some, that's something that you need to recognize because she's not doing it exactly right and give her some reminders about peeking at the rim. Or maybe your partner has a tendency to keep dribbling it. Well, give them a reminder every time. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Or maybe your partner's kind of lazy when they go after it. Well, every single time, hustle after it, hustle after it. Go get it, go get it. Figure out what your partner needs to help them be better because it's your job to make your partner better in this. If you don't make your partner better at this, you're not doing your job. So any questions about how this one works? All right, grab and peek. Grab and peek.